Hello everybody, and on today's elevator parts project, I'm working on this National Elevator Armor car panel. Let's go ahead and get started. So right up here at the top, National Elevator. We have this stop switch, which is a little broken on the front and on the inside. This thing doesn't work at all. We're gonna have to fix that. There's the alarm button. Three, two, one, and LL. And the floor buttons here have a lot of dirt in them. We're gonna see what we can do about that. Down here is key switch. This is for the light and the fan. The door open button. Up and down buttons. Electric eye and attendant key switches. So I believe the up and down were used for the attendant service. However, we have these Medeco locks with no key and we'll need to do something about that. And then of course at the end, it's gonna be all wired up so that these buttons light up and the up down will light up as well. So let's open this thing up and see what's on the back. Upon the opening of the panel, we're first greeted with this buzzer. This was the most likely the fire service buzzer. And back here, we have all the guts for the panels. And you can also see the broken stop switch here, which uh, is very broken. And up here, you have the typical armor base here. These are the lamp holders, MB bulbs inside. Here's the key switch. And here are the Medeco keys that uh, we'll need to replace. So just like normal, I'm going to remove all the wires for this first, and then we'll start taking a look at each of the buttons and seeing what we can do with those. So here's all the stuff off the panel, and pulling everything off actually revealed how really disgusting this thing is. There is some pretty significant gunk buildup on the buttons. So we will be doing a cleanup of the plate. I may try to fill in these uh, this text again, because a lot of that is kind of nasty as well. That should be pretty easy. So as you saw, the plate was pretty nasty, and just as you would expect, the buttons are as well very nasty. So I'm gonna clean up every single button and probably fix the contacts. It looks like some of the contacts are kind of messed up. Looks like number two, one of the contacts is broken. Now the up and down buttons seem to be in pretty decent shape. And also I have to repair the stop button, or the stop switch. Gonna need a little bit of glue, see it broke off there. And I'm gonna attempt to glue this little micro switch onto the back, even though it's not, this isn't really super necessary for it to function because we're not actually gonna hook this up. It would be nice to have the uh, original micro switch on the back, which is kind of interesting that there's a micro switch here and then just your regular contacts as well on the inside. So we'll be reusing the original light fan key switch because we do have keys for this and that is an original armor key. However, for the replacement Medicos, obviously I don't have a key for this. So I do have these little replacement locks and this is what a complete one looks like and got the keys for it. Unfortunately though, the way the panel lines up, the key will have to sit in like this and turn 90 degrees this way. So there's really no way to put this in here to make it kind of follow the pattern, but we'll at least have two working key switches in the panel instead of the kind of ugly looking Medicos. And also you may note some of these buttons such as this two have kind of some dirt in it. I don't know if I can clean that or not. The one looks especially bad. I don't know if I can clean these. I'm gonna attempt to. So that'll definitely make the floor buttons look a lot better. The up and down looks good, the open's good, and the alarm is good as well. So it's just the floor buttons that need cleaning, but I'm gonna do some work on all of the buttons. So the top is being held on by four screws, and this is what the top looks like. Here's the button cap, and here is the contact. So we've got this kind of a rotating bit here that rotates and presses down on the contacts. To actually remove this kind of rotating part, there are these little pins, these little tabs, you lift these up, and then this inner part comes out and you can actually access the, the contacts themselves. Shouldn't have to do that. I Actually, I may need to clean the contacts a little bit. They look kind of dirty. So I may have to do that, but that's how you take that apart. As for cleaning this, uh, you kind of pull up this cap here, and then for the label, there is that white thing on the inside. You have to pull that out. 
using some needle nose pliers and gently working your way around, it will come right out. So this little number cleaned up very nicely. You see it's very shiny now and very clean. And the button cap also cleaned out pretty well too, though it is kind of stained a little bit. But that looks a lot better than it did. And here's what the one button looks like. And it works nice and it definitely looks a lot better. So I'm just gonna do this same thing with all the others. So here we can see all of these buttons are finished and they look a lot nicer, except for three. For some reason I couldn't get the cap out, but I also noticed that the ink's kind of wrecked on that. So we wouldn't even be able to have the full three anyway. Next I gotta work on this stop switch. So of course this corner is kind of broken, so I can't really do a whole lot about that, but I can glue this back down and attempt to glue the micro switch back on the back, which is right there. And after a little bit of gluing, this thing is back together again. And pull it out, it clicks. So that completes all the buttons. Next I need to clean this panel, put all the buttons back in, and then we'll be good to start wiring. And so that was the restoration wiring of this Armor National Elevator Panel. I think this thing came out really good and the buttons look nice, especially with the incandescent. And this was just definitely a fun project. So thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.